Welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. My god have I got a dilemma and I need some help. Right, so I'm going to start with the basics. I've been looking at my city for weeks and I'm just not happy with it. The track looked rubbish, out of place. Everything just kind of looked out of place. I'd like to say it didn't look realistic, but at the same time, it's Lego and it's however you want it, how you make it, it's your city, it's your choice, etc. But I just could not make myself happy with it. So I decided I was going to strip it all. So here it is, I've stripped it all. So now you can see what it was then. I've kind of tried to put it back together a little bit and putting some mills down, putting some roads down, uh, trying to think of a layout or a plan, should I say. And this is where I've got to so far. So I've got Asda up in the corner because I've made it as like a big corner building really, haven't I? So... I've got that there. I'm thinking I could have like a pathway here to separate between whatever other buildings I put on. These two are 48 by 48 plates. Now, obviously you've got a shop window, so it's always ideal to have probably six to eight uh, tiles there, like studs wise, just so people can walk up, have a look in the shop window, go into the shop, whatever. These are odd shaped. They're 26 by 48 long. So, yeah, they kind of fill in a gap. But at the same time, I'm still trying to figure out what to do because you'll see a lot of the parts where I've taken the track off. It's just basic layout. I'm not going to show you all that bit yet. We're going to go through it. So you can see, obviously, where a piece of the track was on there is where it's no longer milled. So, you know... I've got a car park, police station. Now these bits are still in the same place. Kind of playing around with the roads, having a look around. I've got so much more space. So again, with this in the way, I've got the shelves with all this on. So it's not like I can like elevate the city, if you know what I mean. I'm supposed to a certain point, I might be able to raise it up about a foot you know, have an elevation. But then what am I going to do? I've still only got two plates there and it would only be that on the tray. It, it's an awkward one to try and do an elevation when you've only got a three deep. But I'm still trying to play with the ideas of it. Again, you know, sockets on the walls, gas meter, shelf. It makes the whole elevation idea kind of redundant, shall we say. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, we've got the police station, the fire station's here for the moment. I'm thinking I might have to rebuild that because it's a bit bulky and awkward. It has used the entire 32 plate, whereas you can see with this one, it's got the footpath up at the front at least. Okay, this one, you've got the shutters and you've got the door to, for the fire to get in and out. But again, there's no leeway on the front. At least this one I could do, 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 you know what I mean? Or they can just come out this little side road. Yes, I've still got the Minecraft Never Portal on here. For some reason, I like it. I just haven't taken it off. You never know where it might take you. So, again, car park, please. Palace Theatre, we've got the fire station. Tunnel, that can go through, come back out over there. We'll get to that in a minute. Still got the Sanctorum, the Daily Bugle, my hospital, which I need to finish the interior. The Avengers Tower, I've moved over to this side. So they was over there and they were covering up that space. But if I do decide to try and do some sort of elevation, they're going to have to move anyway. So I'm still playing around. We've got all this here. Obviously, the road plates aren't attached down. So that can... Oops. If I don't trash the place. So that, for example, can go anyway, right? Uh, adding another road plate, 
another road plate down there so I can stretch the road out. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I love it. It looks absolutely awesome, but I've got nowhere for it. Now, again, with these, you know, I could have the track going next to the road and then have the houses here because I did have, let's say, for example, like the school. I don't know what to do with this school, if I'm being honest, but that is on a 16 plate, a 16 by 16. So I could have it like that and then, you know, have the track next to the road so it's in the city, not just on the outskirts. You know, I don't know, because, the I, you know, I'm, I, I just don't know what I'm saying. Same with these, you know. I've got a 48 plate there. I could try and do some sort of a curvage any other issue is I've got my chair here. So if I'm in my chair and my chair swings around, it kept hitting the police station, which is why that's moved back there for now. That's why this is further down, because I don't swing backwards around here. Bit of a ramble blabber video, but I'm sure you'll understand my frustration if you're trying to build a Lego city yourself. Now, I like this idea. I have liked this idea since the minute I've done it. But again, I don't know, it's big and awkward. So obviously if I can stop the road there or whatever, you know, they can go through there, they got the car park. But if you stop here, where are you gonna go? But if I carry it on a couple of plates, it can go through like a loop. But I like the idea of going through one tunnel, coming out the other tunnel. You know, I could put a T junction there. So it, it just is literally, like half a loop i haven't quite decided you know that's probably a good idea to put a t-junction there and then they can carry on that way or they can pull up on the side park up again still playing with that idea i'll put some 16 by 32s at the back so i can kind of utilize that space a bit that's just temporarily placed there the other one's up here because it's too big and awkward. I'm thinking that's going to be a rebuild. I've kind of moved the grass area to the corner. Obviously, the Ferris wheel stands out a bit more in the corner rather than where it was. So I'm just trying to play with ideas on, OK, I could have a little theme park corner. So the only problem I'm fighting is I don't like it all cramped. So I like it to be able to be playable. So, for example, here, you know, I could, I don't mind cramming it with cars, people, whatever, you know, that's the whole point of a bustling city. But if I'm going to put this here, uh, and let's just say, for example, I'll take this, I could put that there, move the bush, say I put that there, yeah, okay, that covers that bit, but now you can't see the theme park behind it. You know what I mean? So it, it's a bit of a, well, what do you do with that? I could possibly move that over and I don't know. So yeah, th this is just what I'm playing with at the moment. So I've got my new carousel, but the only problem with this, let's move it over here for the better lighting. You'll see when it's on an angle, actually sticks over the 16 by 16 plate. Plus how low this is as well. Oh, okay, the bin's blocking it. So, yeah, you got to be able to spin it. And it is literally one plate away from the base. So trying to put that down, you, you know, are you going to have the activity? Is it going to have to sit in a centre? Because otherwise... Yes, you can play with it, but it's going to catch on to something else or overlap to another plate. I've got the skate park here for now because the kids absolutely love playing with this. So that's fine. The basketball looks cool. McDonald's and KFC is moved to the back. This was temporarily put as like a little side street there. So you've got like that kind of thing going on. But again, you know, you see the back. It just... It's little things like that that frustrate me, I don't like. So I've got my little jewellery shop, which I think was a Batman set. Uh, so that can be modified into an actual building. Uh, I've got my theme, well, not my theme park. I've got my rock stage, 
So got the sign, you know, for the little Iron Man rock band. Got the steps there still. All the crowd stage perfect. The tower house that me and Courtney built. That looks fantastic. I like it. I've put the beach and the sea over in the corner. And you could say that's part of the sea that's going out to an open sea. I like to have the sides on it so that it's locked in and nothing can fall out. Not that there's much gap for anything to fall out, but better safe than sorry. So you've got the beach. I could move this over so you come off the beach and you're into like a little market. Got the treat house to try and find somewhere if I do decide to keep that in there. Little ice cream, you know. Trying to figure out how to do it. Now this tower, obviously, I've got to do the interior, but you've got windows on either side. Don't think you'll see it, but you can take my word for it. Yeah. You've got windows on either side. So that would be good. I'm thinking, you know, you've got a good view of this side. You've got a view of the ocean. That's not too bad. I like that there. All my planes and everything are still up on the shelf. I've got nowhere for display space. So if I try and zoom out a bit, you can see, you know, this is what I'm working with. It is a garage. It is awkward. But I, I, I do try and make the best of it. So again, I've, I've put this shelf up myself just so I've got some sort of display space. It used to be, if you ever watch the older videos, it was full of display and there was nowhere for a Lego city or it was full of fish tanks and had bits of displays, you know. Just working with what I've got. I would like to have the trains in the city, but again, where, how... Is it all going to work? I know I need to modify a couple of buildings. I need to add a lot more buildings. But it's just trying to figure out what I want, where I want it, how I'm going to do it. It's like this, for example. Now, I love this set. It is a cool set. Could I modify it so that it's more out and covered at the back? I probably could. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I could take up a whole plate on trying to modify it, all that space at the back, or like this one, I could just have it at the back and then you've got extra space to play with at the front. I don't know what I'd do with it. You know, I keep looking at other cities and getting inspiration, but it's all right getting the inspiration as long as you've got the parts, the space, and whatever else to kind of do it yourself. But, yeah. If you've got any ideas, let me know. I've had a few people saying to do more mucks. I am going to be working on that, but obviously, as always, I'm working with whatever parts I've got. And I'll show you a quick idea of the parts that I've got. This drawer is a couple of bits that I could use for mucks, like I've made an armoury wall, I've got another ship, I've got the boat um, trailer and the bike trailer, I've got a Stephanie house, I don't even know what that friend's Lego set is. This one is just literally all the bricks I have, so I've got blue, tiny bit of green, I've got a whole bag of white, small bit of beige, small bit of grey and some yellow. Uh, empty that is DC stuff but again it's mainly little decal stuff not put in the city stuff that's a bit of track uh, then we've got this is my grey so again more plate and slopes than I have bricks there's not exactly a lot I can make same with the red you know uh, and then same with the white. I've got a few more two by ones in there, some plates, slopes, flats, but that's that. This box is only a small box. It's what my new Lego was delivered in. This has got like the old train stations, the old bike shop I was gonna build, the old, um, what you call it? The punk, punch house or whatever that I basically dismantled the smoothie bar and put it into there instead. 
over this side we got random parts that is just filled with two by one uh, trans pink we got that we got loads of car parts more random so we got like christmas we got cars bikes ships uh, we've got loads of bendy track we've got rockery we've got the figure plates some random bits which are mainly yellow a load of these some cobwebs that's just all like sticks and stuff like i don't know what you'd call them like antennas uh, a bit of gray there loads of them that's all my one by one bricks two by one plates under there believe it or not it's just all figures then we come to all this so i'll give you a quick span if you want to see actually what's in it then press pause i'll put the light on for this so that's black as you can see all two by one pink and purple plates plates windows and doors mainly cage doors yellow orange again more two by ones brown Tan is very, very minimal. Green. Blue, we got a bit of blue. Uh, structure stuff. Again, not a fat lot of that. What's this one? More windows. Some arched windows. Uh, I've seen that one. So that's my wall stuff, windows, poles, you've seen that one. That again, some more walls. Gates, fences, aeroplane tips, translucent. That's all stickered and printed tile stuff. That one is usually for my mills, but it's empty. This is what I've got for arches. Last but not least on this bit, that's all my curve stuff. After that you got gates, some miscellaneous plates, you got grey tiles, you've got more grey tiles in different sizes, same with the dark grey. Uh, got all the circles. So again, I'm just going to flick through, you can see what's in there. Loads of snot bricks. That's all uh, lamp posts and tubes, tiles. That's all my greenery. And then I'm not going to go through them, but obviously that's all my smaller bits. That's all sorted away in there. I have also got a massive to be sorted drawer which I've got to sort out and that's obviously going to be added to it as well. So yeah, let me know any ideas, I'm grateful. Leave a comment down below. We are 984 subscribers the last time I looked so thank you and welcome to all the new people. Hopefully you will enjoy these videos and let me know what you think. Yes, we still have the turtles and some fish. Got a fat hoplo there, there's two of them. Got the Corys, Tetras, there's another Tetra. So they're all doing well, needs a water change. And then obviously we've got our, oh, hello. There's Dill, star of the show. And then we've got our Lego fish tank as well. So yeah, a bit of a long-winded video, as I say, it's just driving me insane trying to think how I want it, what space I can utilise, what buildings I can make with what materials I have available. The money's not there to go out buying all loads of new sets and modulars and things like that. A lot of you know, 
I can get modulars for like 50, 60 quid off AliExpress, which is fantastic. I'd love to have some more, but I ain't got that kind of money at the moment and I've got other stuff to pay out for. So I'm trying to build what I can with what I've got and we'll see where we go. As I say, any ideas, thoughts, comments, drop them down below. Uh, the kids have turned around and says build a library, build um, Sea Life Centre, build this, build that. But again, you know, it's all right building it. Where am I going to put it once it's built? Am I going to have to say goodbye to the train track? Say goodbye to the trains? I was even contemplating the idea of having a raised train track. But again, not quite sure how that would work or whether it would just look stupid. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.